What should I say? I am here to, uh, I just don't know what to say to start it. Hey everyone, it's me, Christina Alabato, back at you from my apartment. For those of you who are just tuning in, I'm Christina, I'm a Broadway actress living here in New York City. I'm usually playing Gretchen Wieners and Mean Girls on Broadway, but we are chilling out in our apartments and staying safe. I got... <laughs> <laughs> I got a ton of requests from aspiring actors and actresses asking about resumes and books and how to audition and tips and tricks and I am here to answer all of those questions. So I am starting a new series called Career Coaching with Christina. Is that a stupid name? No, it's a lovely name. Okay, career coaching with Christina. Each episode, I'm gonna be tackling a new topic having to do with the business. Disclaimer, this is the stuff that works for me. There is no right or wrong way to do any of this, but I'm gonna tell you the way that I do it. And if you don't like it, that's fine. Do it your own way, but I'm gonna do it my way, and I'm gonna tell you how I do it right now. First topic is resumes. So let's talk about the basics of your resume. Um, I'm gonna use Bob's as an example because I think his is like 50 times better than mine. You need to have your name, duh, your union affiliation, if you are affiliated with a union, and then a way to be contacted. Now, a lot of people list their hair color, their eye color, their height. I have never found that necessary because they are looking at a picture of me. If you would like to put that stuff on there, I say freaking go for it. I will say the weight one is a little bit of a debate. I think it's completely unnecessary. I just don't think that they need to see a number there. That's my personal preference. Again. And if you feel comfortable listing your weight, then do whatever you want. Next thing that you want to do is these categories. So the way that Bob has it listed is Broadway, Off-Broadway, Film, Television, Regional Theater, Training, and Special Skills. Mine is Broadway, National Tours, Film and Television, Off-Broadway, Regional, Selected Workshops and Readings, Training, and Special Skills. A note about Special Skills, make sure that you actually can do them. Because you don't want someone asking you about it in the room and you being like, well, actually, I don't know how to do that accent, or mm, yeah, I used to be able to do a back tuck, but I can't right now. I'm out of practice. List the things that you actually know how to do right on the spot. Then you start to pick what you're going to include on your resume. Best advice that I can give you is to keep it simple. You don't need to pad your resume with things. Quality over quantity. If you've done 5,000 shows, don't list them all, list your favorites. The last thing that you want the casting director to do is look at your resume and go, oh my God, I can't even look at this and put it down. And if you haven't done a lot, that's okay. It's fun to find someone that has never done anything. It's exciting to find the next person, the person that they're gonna give the chance to. So here I have listed show, the role, and then on this column, I actually have directors and theaters. The Broadway community is teeny, teeny, tiny. We all know each other, so when we look at these resumes, oh, you took voice lessons with Liz Kaplan. Oh my God, I love Liz Kaplan, she's a good friend. How do you know her? How are your lessons? Conversation starter, right? I know it's tedious, but with students and classes that I teach, I see resumes that are not formatted correctly. Even if it's like a little millimeter off of each other, it's just distracting. You want it to be super clean lines where you can see everything and it's easy. I print mine on a normal sheet of paper. I take my headshot, this is an old one. What I do is I line them up with these edges on the side. I give it a nice four staple and then I take my scissors and I cut. You do not have to go to Office Max and do this with like one of those crazy scary slicers. Just do it and do it what, like well enough. There we go, boom, eight by 10, done. And that's really what your resume is. Again, the biggest advice I'm gonna give and I'm gonna hammer this home is be simple. You have to trust that you are not your resume. You are your work. This is helpful and allows them to see you and learn about you as they're watching you, but you are not your resume. You are the work that you put in and who you are in front of all those people. Because really, they don't care about this. If you're amazing and you solve their problem, this doesn't matter. Anyway, guys, that's all I have to say about resumes. Thank you for tuning in. I hope that you learned something from this video. Like, subscribe, share, watch my other videos. Please list anything in the comments of things that you'd like me to talk about. I'm gonna be talking about your book, how to prepare for auditions, what an audition is like in New York City, vocal health, how to dress for an audition, how to start in voiceovers, how to deal with rejection. All things having to do with being an actor are happening on this channel. I also do one-on-one -on -one career coaching, so email christinacoaching at gmail.com if you wanna set up a session with me to talk through all of this stuff personally, me and you, happening soon. I hope you all have clear, concise, and simple resumes after this video. See you next time.